Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In this one, I'm gonna be showing you how to install and use a super template. A super template is composed of two different parts. First, a Notion template, which is where your website content will live and be managed. Then we also have a set of custom styles that will be applied through super. To choose a template, you can head to super.so forward slash templates. There's a link in the description below. And once you get here, you'll see there's a range of different templates for all kinds of website types. We also have some free templates that are created in-house by Super. And then we have some paid templates that are created by community members. So to begin, I'm gonna be using this satellite blog template. And to copy the template, you simply need to click into the template to view a demo. And if you're happy, we can look for the instructions page. Now on free templates, the instructions page is usually visible in the navbar, like this one here. If you've paid for a template, you'll likely get the instructions separately in your email or from your product purchase link. Templates are quite easy to install, so let's simply follow the instructions here. Step one is to duplicate the Notion template to our own Notion workspace. So we click this link here. We'll be taken to the Notion template, which obviously looks quite different without the custom styles in Super. And if we head to the top right, we can choose duplicate and we can duplicate this to our own Notion workspace. It might take a few minutes or it might take a few seconds, but then you can see the template will appear in our Notion workspace. So the next step then, if we head back to the instructions, is to create a site using Super using our newly created page. So let's head to this Notion template we just duplicated, head up to the share option, choose publish, publish, and copy the URL. Then we can head over to Super, and choose create site, give the site a title and paste in the URL we just copied. If we click create site, just a few seconds, Super will take that Notion page and turn it into a custom website. Great. So let's head back to the instructions. Step three, duplicate these theme presets to your Super account. So let's go ahead and do that now. These are a set of styles that we can customize within Super. So if we click duplicate, we can see now we've duplicated that theme. If we head back into our website, we can go into the design options and down at the bottom here, we can choose the theme that we just duplicated. Great, so that's the first step of applying the custom styles. Let's head back to the instructions page. And finally, five, go to your site settings and paste the code into the head tab. So copy the code snippet back into super, we go into the code page, in the head tab, we choose paste. And as if by magic, our site has appeared. Nice, so that's it. It's quite simple and straightforward. It's a few steps of a process. First, we are applying the custom styles into the design menu, and then we're applying additional styles using custom code. Now it's worth mentioning templates do require custom code and this is indeed a paid feature. You can upgrade to a personal or a pro site to get access to this feature. However, you can preview the custom code in the dashboard before you want to go ahead and publish your site live to the web. It's worth mentioning so that templates that come with custom design options means that you can go in and edit them. So if we head in here, you can see we have access to a whole bunch of different styles, including colors, where we can adjust the background color, we can adjust text color, and so on. Some of the styles, for example, the uh, rounding on these buttons is often controlled through the custom code, which we often can manipulate if you have some understanding of custom code. You can also ask the template creator for advice, or we also recommend consulting ChatGPT for things like that as well. So that's it, it's very simple. You can see we've completed the instruction process. Templates often come with other instructions for customizing certain elements. You can see here, this is instructions on how to customize the form, because we can see that in our demo site, the form is not currently appearing because we don't have one embedded in there, but these instructions often will cover all the processes needed to get the site set up. So that's it for this one, guys. Thanks for watching. If you've got any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out. And in the meantime, stay super.